Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, uh, just in this tutorial here, uh, I thought I'd show you guys how to uh, how to get a website within 10 minutes. Now I know that sounds like a really daunting task, but it's actually very possible now, and there's many ways of doing it. Um, and uh, Webplus is one of them. There's Joomla. There's WordPress. There's tons of ways you can start your blog. Lots of things you can do to get yourself out on the internet. Uh, because these days, a web presence is really important. But um, in this tutorial, I'm going to be using Web Plus, and uh, it's actually really easy. But um, but just before we get started, I'll show you what I created. I created this within two or three days, and this is the website here. So um, that's it right there. And uh, so you can you can navigate through a navigation bar. It looks really professional. You can see services, all the music, everything. And at the same time, you can even play music. So so uh, people can hear the music even while you browse through the uh, events, music, everything. So it's really cool, right? Really cool. You, everything's there, and uh, all this was done within a matter of days. So um, so that's really cool. Uh, I thought it was really cool. And um, so yeah, lots of lots of great features, everything. You, you can really do a lot of stuff here. So um, so let's just close this now. So I want to hear that again. So so basically all I did is I went to, I started up Web Plus and you can you can download the free version if you go to if you just Google Web Plus there's a free version. Um, I don't know if you get as many features, but um, it should be pretty close at least. So I just use a design template, and uh, once you start up, you can you can see a whole bunch of template. You'll see a whole bunch of stuff like like this here, Spiro. I don't know, but uh, but uh, what I what the one I used for my website was I believe I believe it's actually this one. But um, in order to get the the music working like that, when you when you switch through the navigation bar, there's actually quite a few things that need to be done. So this is the one I used here, and I decided to use, I believe, um, um, let's go let's scroll down here, um, Iconoclast, that's the one I used. But um, but I changed around the color scheme too, and there's a color scheme designer in this. This is really what I did, so I just open this, there we go, so there you see it. Uh, really, really easy. You just drag and drop. So here's a here's a picture here. If I want to drag this up here, it just goes right in, right? It's already looking pretty professional from the get-go, which is really cool. Um, and so this is obviously your events. It's it's in Latin actually. I you can use Google Translate. So for example, events. You just double-click, type, right? And uh, so uh, you welcome, right? That's the home page. And, uh, you know, you can you can just really go far, right? You just drag and drop from the get-go, and uh, and all I did is these are just wallpapers. <laughs> I just drag and drop a bunch of wallpapers just to see what it might look like once you get the actual photos done by you know the professionals or yourself or whatever. But uh, but there, it's really customizable, and and this is what and these are all just things that you can you can actually find each individual part um, within uh, within the objects. So or sorry gallery so all these things are here and you can just drag and drop so so say if you wanted like this event thing here is right out right here right it's the exact same logo or icon right so when I drag and drop you can see it's the same and all those things can be found and there's different ones picture frames you know badges and stickers and you can customize it they're, they're actually made within what plus so you can change the text that goes inside of them and uh, stickers you know, Everything's everything's there for you to uh, customize and just drag and drop, which is really cool. It's a lot like iWeb, and iWeb is another alternative. So, um, you know, it's up to you, right? And then Facebook logos, those are there too. So uh, I believe that's in logos or not? Oh, there's somewhere around here. Mm, looking for it, looking for it, looking for it. Badges and stickers, actually, maybe. But anyway, they're there, and uh, and this here is a banner. So if you go to banners, I believe. Uh, anyway, you'll figure it out. You can use the scroll wheel to f scroll through all these and look at them. Anyway, that, that's okay. Uh, and you can even change. So this is all here. There's a master page, and that's um, so you can just see your master pages here. And basically, the master page is like your template. So each page will have whatever the master page has on it 
and uh, so for example if I wanted to change the um, the how many pixels it is wide so it's a thousand by a thousand right now you go to click on the master page you can see it um, and there's different so you see it's kind of like the base of everything but uh, but everything's there right and um, if you wanted to create um, you know another page within a page it's not hard so I have article 2 here say I wanted to put that inside of about us you just drag and drop and then it's like uh, you know folders right so that's there and uh, it's really really simple really easy uh, it's all customizable and uh, that's really all I did except one thing um, what I did this time was I added a little bit of space at the end there as you'll notice uh, on you noticed on my web page there was uh, uh, music thing so I just added a uh, little box there and uh, all I did was uh, was change the uh, I, I just used the home page so um, all I did was go to um, this and I chain added on a little bit of width or you can just alternatively drag like this and it makes a little space at the end so uh, really straightforward and then I added uh, music so all I did is just added this and browse for the file and um, Right, just browse for that file that I wanted. Let's go browse here. So, just I decided to grab you know one of these, right, and um, and uh, call it inline, and uh, right, that's all I did. And then it plays with your default player and uh, you know Internet Explorer, whichever browser you're using. So that's all I did. And that's how you get your music. But it's not just as easy as that. There's also another step you need to take. Um, Really, uh, I had no need. Well, it wouldn't have needed a master page because what happens is this is all in an iframe, and an iframe is basically like a separate page within a page that loads separately. So uh, all I did was I just uh, frame document tool, draw, drew in. I tried to get as close as I could to this area here, and uh, you know, cut and paste everything. Uh, call it iframe one. Don't really want the border here, but active doc document frame, and. Uh, and uh, then you select uh, select your home. You make another page, so like for example, clone page, um, clone page, and, um, and you just you drag and drop all that stuff in. And you have to make sure that the uh, that uh, the aspects or the um, dimensions are correct. So uh, I just did this for trial and error, but I'm sure there's a way of just finding the um, the uh, correct the amount of pixels and uh, that's all you do and then you just you uh, you have to make sure that um, that each one is configured to uh, to route to that so I'll just open up the actual site I have running here uh, just so you can uh, you can get an idea this is the one here yeah so you'll get an idea of how I did this it's better if I just show you the actual website but yeah it's you could you could easily um, yeah, so fonts, I, you, there's a site checker to get by that, but I didn't. You know. So this is all. I, this is really it. So there's an iframe here, and um, and what I have is everything. This iframe opens home content, which is right here. When that's all the, that's like um, all everything that's within that iframe. So as you noticed, it's exactly the same as our home page, and and I made and I made and I kind of just you know, guess and check until I got 890 by 1,000, and it worked for me, right? And uh, all I did is that, and I just, you know, filled in the blanks, and I and I grabbed some things, some little link parts, and just you know, put in whatever I felt necessary in order to get the idea across. And this is just a blank page for a template I used, so with the dimensions I wanted. There's no need for a master page. You could just clone, I figured, and um, terms and conditions, everything. Uh, and it's all there, right? And I just drag and drop. Within 10 minutes, easily you could have your own website. Um, uh, but this this took me a little longer. I just decided to put a little more effort into it. But uh, but there's a it's really really easy. So if I show you guys that, um, so now you know a few alternatives at least. There's also Joomla. There's also lots of other great ways to make web pages. And I think um, I think Lynda.com has uh, as a tutorial uh, series for Joomla. So you could watch that if you're interested in Joomla. Now Joomla is a little bit better because, say, if you have a client, you could your client could um, could add an article, right, uh, and anywhere, right. So you don't have to. Have, they don't. Your client doesn't have to have Web Plus. So it's it's more of a group thing, and you could have, say, one of your other members of your group, uh, you know, 
edit that page. So, uh, so hopefully that helps, and uh, and I'll see you guys in the next tutorial. Thanks, bye.